Hi everyone, Dan Higgins here, and today uh, we're going to be talking about the ARCO3 uh, rotator from Primo Luce Lab, and it's a, an, an ARC second resolution rotator, which is actually, I'm pretty excited, I've had it for a couple of months, I just finally got all the, uh, all the adapters that I need and stuff like that to, to get it, I had to actually get something special from Primo Luce Lab, we'll talk about it. So today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the, uh, the ARCO 3 inch version. So uh, thank you everybody for tuning in, appreciate it, and let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so here we are, I have my Arco 3 here, I'm going to just unbox this bad boy, and this all comes wrapped with cellophane, which is nice. So you know that you're getting a brand new Arco or Eagle, whatever, they're doing this with all of their products now, and uh, it's pretty cool. So we're going to unbox this guy and see what's inside. I've yet to open up one of these, but let's see. So um, same white box, white, red color scheme. Um, has some nice pictures on the back. All the wonderful things. So you got the little, uh, little thumb thing here. It's a little bit of a pain. Yes, sir. Let's pop this guy open. So uh, this is a 3-inch. This fits my focuser. I have a 3-inch Asado as well. Um, wow, oh my god, this thing is a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> Alright, so they form fit all this. I love the way they do their packaging. They form fit everything for uh, for every little thing. And this is Arco number 17. Arco 3 number 17. Um, and if I'm told correctly, this is one of the first ones in the United States. So I'm, I'm very, very... Thank you, Tom and Filippo over in Prima Luce for getting this to me. I know I've been waiting on this for a long time. Um, make sure it's got these nice little, uh, this little thumb screw here, a uh, little set screw. You're going to need that later on uh, to attach this into these holes here. So very, very important. Um, and I think that's all that's in here. Um, is there anything? Oh, you got some, don't, you got your wires underneath. It does come with your two wires. This connects to your Asado. Uh, focuser and a, an Allen key is in there, and that's all that's in there. Um, so uh, we're gonna put this guy on eventually, and then uh, we'll take it from there. The Arco by Prima Luce Lab is an arc second resolution rotator. What that means is that for every step that the Arco makes, it will rotate the camera one arc second, one second of arc, which is a super, super, super sensitive rotator. So it's going to get you right on uh, your framing immediately. Uh, it comes in two inch and three inch um, image circle uh, sizes, um, and it has a 20 millimeter width or a 23 millimeter width, depending on which uh, one you got. So you got the 20 uh, millimeter width for the two inch and the 23 millimeter width for the three inch. Um, it can work directly with the Asado, um, but it also has a nose piece, which you can actually fit to the, uh, the rotator. Um, it works with the Asado and the uh, Sesto Senso. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to uh, calibrate your Arco. Uh, so that's one of the necessary things to do. And the easiest way that I found out how to do it was to do it through Play. And Play is Prima Luce's um, resident <laughs> software. And uh, it stands for Prima Luce Astrophotography, and it's going to be their uh, new platform in order to connect and acquire images. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to connect your focuser because the Arco is connected to the focuser, and then uh, go to the go to the COM port. Then you know if you don't know uh, the COM port, um, you could go to um, you could go to your device manager. Now you go DEV ICE device manager. And then you're going to look for the port that says uh, Silicon Labs, right there. That's going to be the same port for your focuser. Okay, so mine is COM7. So I'm going to do COM7, and I'm going to hit the link. And that will connect the, that will connect the Asado. Um, in turn, will connect the Arco as well, because they're connected to each other. So the one thing you're going to want to look at is that uh, the firmware. The firmware for the Arco, uh, you need to be at a firmware of 3.0 or higher on the Asado. So uh, I'm at 3.0.13, so I'm good to go. If I was at 2.0, then uh, the Arco would not work and it would never connect. So we could save that at this point and X out of that. And then we could go into the rotator. And as you can see, since it, the focuser and the rotator are connected through that little 
uh, that little wire, um, you, the, the rotator will be automatically enabled and you could do your calibration right from here. Um, so that being said, let's do the calibration. Again, I already did it once. It'll say, please calibrate on your first time. So you're gonna wanna calibrate. And step one, it's checking the rotator, making sure it's connected. And it's saying that make sure that you're free to move within a 360 degree uh, rotation. The calibration does not move it at 360 degrees, so you don't have to worry about that. It moves about 45 each way, uh, maybe a little bit less, that's a guess. But um, once you hit the start button, um, you'll start to see uh, the Arco uh, move back and forth and uh, calibrate the Arco. This will complete after about two minutes and then uh, you'll be good to go at that point. So we'll just watch it run and uh, I'll speed up the video so you don't have to wait two minutes. <laughs> And if all goes well, and it will, uh, the calibration will be completed and you will be done. So you can close that out. At that point, um, if you want to connect it to any other software, you can. Um, let's go over Nina real quick and see how that works. So we'll get out of play. And then we're going to go into Nina. And you'll see I got my profile all set up and ready to go. There we go. So here it is. So the first thing, I, you know, again, I want to do, and the good thing is that the focuser is first on this because once you hit connect all devices, it goes in a line. So, so the focuser, once you connect, connect the focuser, the PLL ASCOM focuser, that's your Asado, okay? And then your rotator, PLL ASCOM rotator, and you're good to go. So if I wanted to move it to whatever degree, right now it's at 180. Um, let's, let's move it to 90 and look at how fast that thing moves a lot better than, than the, uh, than the, uh, calibration version and the mechanical position is going and it's going and hopefully if I did it right, um, it'll be, it'll be flopped on the other side. So it uh, looks like everything is running right, and I'm looking really forward to being you know, to using this. Uh, and uh, I'm going to change this to zero and move it to zero. And that'll be it. So thank you all for watching. And that is the Arco rotation. Um, that is the Arco uh, rotator and uh, a little bit of... Uh, a little bit some uh, some info of the stuff under the hood so uh, uh thank you all for watching and as always remember keep imaging keep educating and clear skies and we'll see you next time on astral and don't forget please subscribe on the youtube channel and i want to say thank you to the thousand plus subscribers that are already on uh the uh, astral world uh, community and uh, it's been great it's been a great uh, full you know year and a half right now and uh we keep on growing so uh Please join uh, the Astral community uh, by subscribing and liking and we'll come out with these videos as, as much as possible.